Crews just finished repairs on the railroad track where a Conrail train jumped the tracks this morning. Now, three cars were carrying hazardous chemicals. Yeah, there were no leaks here, and the three cars were allowed to continue down the tracks. The scene played out this morning on Aramango Avenue in the city's Port Richmond neighborhood. NBC 10's Darlene Jones has been talking to investigators. And Darlene, what have you learned? Well, Denise, I can tell you that I requested documents today from the federal agency that is responsible for regulating the country's railroads, and we found that Conrail Railroad, which was involved in this accident here today, has had a number of accidents and incidents, some of them caused by the company's tracks. It is believed that part of this track broke and caused this three-car train to derail on Iramingo Avenue in Fort Richmond. I'm going to come out at nighttime, and they're pretty, good. they're pretty good, and they go slow and stuff like that, so I've never seen this before. A spokesperson for Conrail says nothing leaked from the three cars carrying acetone and phenol. We're told the tracks were last inspected within the last three months, which is a federal requirement. Conrail is owned by Norfolk Southern and CSX. The railroad company grilled last month by city council about its safety and maintenance practices. We're going to make sure that they are focusing on investing in their infrastructure to make sure that incidents like this does not take place in the future. How do you do that without any sort of regulation over these railroads? Well, it starts with leadership. I mean, although we do not have regulation over our railways, that's a reason for that's that's not a reason for us to not get involved. The railroads are regulated by the federal government. Accident report numbers we requested shows Conrail trains were involved in 17 accidents last year, a 55 percent increase increase over 2012. Eight accidents were caused by the tracks and 14 derailments up 39% from 2012. We have to call them out through our hearings. We, we bring them in city council. We talk about if you're going to do business here in the city of Philadelphia, you should be held accountable. And so after those hearings, the city council is now waiting on a report with information related to the company's safety and maintenance practices. I can also tell you that I reviewed another set of documents today, which reveal that Conrail has been involved in nine hazardous materials incidents involving leaks. Now, there were no leaks in today's accidents, but if you remember back in 2012, there was a major accident in Paulsboro during a derailment which caused some serious issues in that area. Reporting live from Port Richmond, Darlene Jones, NBC 10 News.